Okay, so uh, I just been thinking, and I'm gonna keep on thinking that you know we met Asmodeus the Snake, you know, back there, uh, and he gonna show up at Redwall later. And are these? Is it? Do they hint that the Liam and his uh, and his gang or followers? Led Asmodeus towards Redwall. Is that what they're hinting at? Anyway, we're gonna read the, the, his mail. Oh Jesus! This map looks to be quite big. Puzzle. Hmm. Gonna look into that later. Later, maybe we actually get by there. Uh, Banshee strings. Yebediah star thistle. All right, let's have a shot with this guy. I know she's a headstrong one, that Mila, but she's smart as a whip, isn't she? <laughs> yes, I've known her since she was a dibbon. <laughs> oh, um, apologies, I'm rambling. <laughs> uh, did, did you have a question? Captain Jeb, is it true your name is Star Thistle? Recognize the name, did you? Yes, well, we were one of the founding families of Lilygrove, Huss Star Thistles. Did you ever meet my brother, Pickerel? Oh, so Pickerel is your brother. Aye, I know him. Or know of him. He lives in the Lilygrove catacombs. He keeps to himself. To be honest, everyone thinks I'm a bit strange. I quite agree. Jolly hypocritical, if you ask me, living like a hermit and all the while criticizing me for wanting a bit of peaceful freedom myself. Hmm. What do you mean, sir? Oh, I don't want to bother you too much with it. Rather, we haven't talked in quite some time. Let's just say he doesn't believe my lifestyle suitable for the distinguished Star Thistle family. He has no love for the slough. And I do. If he had his druthers, he'd have me locked in a fancy living room, eating fancy dinners and siring fancy dibbons for the rest of my days. <laughs> Bits of comfort and security sounds rather nice. Doesn't it? Doesn't it? If that's what you want, why do you bother joining the scouts? Hmm. Hmm. Is it wrong to want both security and adventure? Well, nothing wrong with wanting it, I suppose. As long as you know you can't ever have both. Life doesn't work that way. Yes. <sighs> I suppose you're right, Cap'n. We all have to make a choice at some point. Precisely. Unfortunately, my brother won't accept my choice. I haven't spoken with my eldest brother in a while, either. We had a nasty disagreement just before I joined the Scouts. Things were, and still are, tense. I do hope they're all okay, though. Huh? What the? F uh, I didn't hear that, and I was too busy with the <laughs> understanding. Like, what the word sounded working? So, um... all the same, Cap'n, even if he is frustrating, don't you think you'll regret it if you never see him again? I know that even though my eldest brother and I have our fair share of squabbles, I'd be at his side in an instant if he asked. It's what we do as family. Yes. Well, <laughs> you've got me there. Ah, well, I'm sorry if I've said too much. Not at all. We don't get many folks out here, and I'm quite grateful for the honesty. You've certainly given me something to think about. I can't make any promises, but I'll be thinking on this. Brotherly love. Uh... By the way, I couldn't help but notice that crystal you have there. Yes, I found it in Pontedaria, locked in a box hidden behind a string of riddles. I know. In fact, I wrote those riddles myself. 
That crystal is an old family treasure, passed down from my great-great-grandmother. She was a skilled healer and once treated an entire clan of bats for wing rot. Nasty infection, that. As thanks, the clan leader gifted her that very crystal. He said it would bring her acuity beyond that of the average beast, even allowing her to spy scrolls buried deep in rubble. Or so the story goes, anyway. That's quite the tool to look away in those old ruins. I wasn't using it, and I knew there was bound to be some budding young adventurer out there that would give it a good run. Looks like I was right. Okay, so it noticed scrolls. It doesn't notice, like, this thing, then. Um... Okay. You're friends with Valo and his family, then? I've known Valo Scrimpaw and his stoatlings for quite some time now, yes. As you can tell, there aren't too many of us out here in the slough. We've got to look out for each other, and we do. Especially after what happened to Valo's poor wife, Lyra. I heard his wife passed away. <sighs> I can't imagine the pain of it. Lyra got sick, she did. Never could quite catch her breath. Then, one day, her breath went and left for good. We still don't understand it, and as you can imagine, for a beast who devoted his whole life to healing, not knowing how to heal your own wife is eh, nothing short of heartbreaking. Oh, how awful. And now these rats taking all they have left? It's not fair. The Scrimpaws are a strong family. Good folk. Valo would die for his children. Bolo tries to act tough, but mark me, he's devoted as well. And they're both puddles when it comes to Mela, despite how it might appear. They're dear to me. I have no shame in admitting. The slough is actually rather lovely in the daylight. I'm almost surprised. <laughs> what do you think of my cosy little home, then? I know it's no Lily Grove cottage, but I quite like living out here in the slough. Why did you choose to live in a bog? I've never heard of a mouse living in parts like this. I sort of stumbled upon her years ago. Came here by accident, but ended up falling head over heels. It's like a living thing, the slough is. And when the fog and fireflies roll in for the summer nights, getting to know her shifting trails is like... like getting to know an old friend. They may have changed, to be sure, but... The connection is still there, if you listen. And, of course, the toads like to cause a ruckus, but that's never bothered me much. Not with the Scrimpaws around. I kind of have the same feeling when I'm playing a Red Dead. You know, the, um, the, bay, the bayou. I kind of like it, but I wouldn't want to live there. I don't remember if I talked about this, but never mind. Mila seems quite the wild critter. I can't believe she's carrying around her mother's heart. Ah, <laughs> yes, Mila. I've got a special place in my heart for that little stoat, despite her macabre obsession. <laughs> oh, yes, Mila is fascinated by anatomy. Wouldn't that heart have rotten by, like, I don't know, a long time ago? Anatomy? That's body parts, right? No, well, she insists understanding the inside of some beast's body can help healers get better at healing. But uh, it's a bit ghoulish, I must say. She'll dissect any fish the Scrimpaws catch, and worse, if she can get away with it. Which she has. <laughs> Make no mistake. She'd try to dissect you if you died in front of her. And she's robbed more than one grave to accomplish just that. I heard she wants to be a healer at Redwall. But I wonder if the apothecaries there would be too fond of grave robbery. It horrified us all at first. And still does, to be honest. But you get used to things out here. We make sure she doesn't get into too much trouble, but I, I tremble to think of what other woodlanders would make of her. So, well, now that I think on it, I hope you won't go spreading this information around. 
The lass has the best intentions, I assure you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she would be kicked out from Redwall in an instance. Uh, we best be moving thing. along then. That took ten minutes. <laughs> wow. Uh, we'll talk to you soon, people. I'm just gonna oh. have this. Had my eyes on it for quite a while. And I might have to cut this one up, actually. Hey, Sophia, how are you? I think I finally got my head back on my shoulders. What strange dreams I had. You have blood on your sheep, darling. How are you feeling, Sophia? Is your shoulder any better? Aye, it is. I, I think Valor's mixture worked wonders. I'm so glad. Do you think you can make the journey to Redwall? I, I bet I could. I could even beat you all there. <coughs> if you can get your breath in order, yeah. So, now that you're coherent enough, what do you think of the scrimballs? My brain has only truly been coherent enough to form an opinion this morning. But Valo seems like such a passionate, dedicated father. Mila, the sweetest, sharpest little thing. And I, I don't recall much of Bolo. Oh, I never really got the chance to get on well with Bolo. He was so... wary. And I suppose he had a right to be, with how things turned out. I... the rats wouldn't have come if we hadn't been there. Yes, but it's not our fault. It's the rats. Think about it. Now we get to kick Chisi's tail once more. Mila really is a clever little thing. I certainly wasn't that clever as a divin. You know, I think she might be onto something with her strange wax heart she's carrying around. You think? I suppose it's just strange to wrap my head around. She's studying it, Liam. She's learning from it. And she's learning things even the most advanced healers among us haven't learned. Because they share the same sentiments you do. Think what she might discover. I. Perhaps. I can't believe Valo chose to protect us, even when his own home and family were at risk. Reminds me of Robin. I never got the story of how Robin and Valo became friends. Once we get Bola back, we'll ask. Sophia, about that mouse last night. Oh, yes. You mean Martin? You... do you really think it was Martin? Himself? Well, hmm. no one else could see or hear him but you. And isn't Martin known to do that? Appear to heroes in need? I think I've heard of that before. But... well, really, it could have been anything. Even my imagination. I suppose you're right. It could have been anything. You're the only one who can really tell. You're the one who heard him. We better hurry on. Well, hello. I sure be glad it be daylight. <laughs> Trees don't be casting mighty shadows like they did last night. Mm. Glimber, did I hear you say you felt rumbling in the ground? I did, I. It'd be normal for them bees like moles and shrews and the sort to be moving underground, or... But this rumbling, it'd be feeling mighty strong. Should we be concerned? Oh, I don't know. I'll keep my feet a listening. I can't believe the scrimpals are in this mess now. And all because we led the rats right to their door. Ah, oh, they'd be strong critter, I do think. I think they'd be being all right once we do find Bolo. And I'm just gonna ignore that, I think. On and on we go, huh? Although, you're doing wonderfully, Glimber. However, if you do decide to head back home, you certainly may. Er, I've come too far now, her. Sides, I don't want to be traveling back all by myself, her. We'll be to Redwall soon. Are you excited? Oh, her. I rightly am, I do say, her. I think you'll make an excellent Redwall mole, Glimber. And I bet four more will agree. Yes, um, I think I might rightly like it, if we get there without too much vermin troubling. Oh, 
That's for certain. We ought to keep moving. Why are you at? Sniffing cattails, or whatever they're called. <laughs> hmm, got this feast, eh? Maybe, and then the other two. Then we'd be going. Taking 20 minutes just to talk, and because I, I want to, to talk on the first one, I want to talk to everyone on first playthrough. Have you gotten the chance to talk much with Captain Jeb? He's quite the interesting mouse. Aye, I did. Yeah. Did you hear? He's Pickerel's brother. I didn't know that old oddball had family around. <laughs> Yet here we are. Pickerel's brother, eh? How could we have known? With that mouse spending his days alone in his office in the catacombs. They're uh, both quite solitary, aren't they? Oh, I could never. Uh, I already miss the smell of Swiss cheese that follows Laban around. <laughs> I can't help feeling guilty. It's us the rats wanted, not the Scrimpole family. And now their home is destroyed and Bolo kidnapped. Don't forget, it's the rats who are to blame, not us. I had such a nightmare last night about Lilygrove. I saw scums now standing over Sophia, fire burning the place to the ground. What if the scouts weren't able to save the village? I admit I've had similar thoughts, but we've got to trust in the scouts to protect Lilygrove while we do our job here. I just hope more sea rats don't arrive. If only there was a way we could send them back where they came from. I keep checking my pocket. Making sure the Tangram is there. I even checked my shirt for holes three times this morning. I'm not sure why Robin thought it would be safe with Valo, but, uh, well, now it's off to Redwall. But what's the big deal about it anyway? What do the rats want with it? I'm not sure the rats even know. Let's get going. Hopefully we'll reach Redwall before sundown. Pretty darn sure that Robin didn't expect uh, rats to show up at Valo's house, so, uh... I do appreciate you all coming along to help find Bolo. Please, Valo. It's the least we can do after all you've done for us. Jesus, he's a fucking midget compared to him, I see that now. <laughs> Thank Martin we found Mila in the slough, before Asmodeus found us. You saw Asmodeus? Yes. Well, sort of. He was moving. Hunting us, that's for sure. My whiskers. You were lucky you survived that night, young scout. All of you. Perhaps this is strange, but... Do you believe in spirits, Fallow? What brings this up? Well, last night, there was a mouse in the slough. Not Jeb. But someone else. I heard their voice calling to me, and saw their silhouette leading us down the safe paths of the bog. What's most strange, though, is that no one seemed to be able to see or hear this mouse but me. Sophia thinks it may have been the spirit of Martin, leading us to safety. I cannot speak in what only your eyes saw, but I truly believe such heroes of the past can remain to aid us in our own journeys. Have you experienced something similar before? I uh, thought I saw something once. A long time ago, when I was a very different stout. An old hero? Perhaps. <laughs> Although, uh, I can't tell you how many times I've seen my wife standing in the halls or gathering herbs in the garden, though she's long past now. It is hard to say if what we see is real or... Uh, Result of our own. Well, perhaps it is both. Regarding survival, 
can I ask, Varlo, what do you think of Mila's anatomy studies? She's she right talking there. about them, has she? Well, she's carrying around a heart. I apologize if she has concerned you. My door has, um, unique ideas when it comes to healing. I don't doubt great discoveries will come from her, but I fear others' acceptance of these practices, especially if she pursues medicine at Redwall. Be assured, though, Mila only wants to help others. I imagine her mother's passing was very hard on her. It was very hard on all of us. Asmodeus is an adder, is that correct? He is an adder who plagues this land. He's a danger to anyone who comes near him. A giant snake with a taste for fear. He'll kill even when he isn't hungry. All our lives are petty to him. Not just woodlanders either. Even the vermin fear him. What a nightmare of a creature. Uh, a so, bit more. how did Bolo come to be missing? He simply... Vanished? Aye. After I managed to escape the Wraith, I picked up on the rat's trail as they themselves fled. That's when I found the strands from Bolo's handkerchief along their path. I'd feared they had captured Mila, or you all as well, but thank Martin they didn't. You don't think the rats are headed to Redwall, do you? Thankfully, I don't believe they know Redwall is here. You see, Redwall is like a legend to the vermin from the West. A woodland, a utopia that to them is like a foolish dream. Well, that's good news. Let's just hope they don't discover otherwise. What would the rats want with Bolo? Most likely, Cheese Thief is trying to get to me. My family is hated amongst the vermin. They believe us to be traitors. Sympathizers, they call us. Cheese Thief knows I helped you. He's trying to punish me. As if he has nothing better to do. Oh, how awful. We'll make them regret it. I assure you. Aye. That is my plan. Follow. how is it you know Captain Robin? Robin has been my friend for a very long time. You see, my family has a vow that we have passed down throughout the generations. A vow to not pursue the ways of vermin. When we were young, Robin, well... You made it easier to follow that vow. You're quite close, then. Aye. I consider him one of my closest friends. I owe him my life. Once we find Bolo... Are you and your family going to continue with us to Redwall? I haven't yet decided. It certainly is the safest place, but once Redwall learns of the Sea Rats invasion, I fear they may not trust my family to enter their walls. But your family isn't vermin kind! How could they reject you? If only it were that simple. I have friends in the North whom I believe we would be safe with as well. Or at least... Uh, I hope. Wherever you go, I wish you and your family the best. Thank you. I wish you and your friends all the happiness in the world. I'm sure Bolo isn't far ahead. Aye. We can't be wasting any time. Something tells me we will be right on their tail. I hope we're becoming friends. What should we chat about? Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I'm actually excited to reach Redwall. We've never been before, but we've always heard stories of how wonderful it is. Everyone knows that Redwall is where the very best healers in the world live. They live by the same code as we do and help anyone who needs it. Isn't it amazing? I just hope they'll let me join. Papa says they will, but... Well... I suppose we'll see. I guess you're right. I sure hope they do. I'm gonna make Bolo come with me. He says Redwall won't accept us. But I'm gonna prove him wrong. So... You've got a heart. <laughs> it's really not strange. 
What strange is healers never learning about the inside of our bodies? Can you believe no one's ever done it? At least no one in our family. And Papa says they don't study anatomy at Redwall either. But it's fascinating, it really is. Trying to understand the critter body is like trying to solve the best puzzle in the world. Plus, I truly think it's the best way to learn how to cure illnesses. You're so clever, I have no doubts you'll solve it. It really is impressive that you're pioneering this study. Pioneering? What a wonderful word! <laughs> I'm a pioneer! And I think that's well, all we're gonna... time to sail off. Ugh. Right, that only took like half an hour. About. Nothing else. Are you ready to head off? We likely won't be seeing Captain Jeb again, so if you got anything to say to him, best do it now. We ought to keep moving. All right. Everyone into the boat. It's been a pleasure to meet you all. Sophia, Liam, friends, Valo, do send word as soon as you and your family are safe. I'll be sick with worry until then. Thank you, Jeb. For everything. I don't know what we would have done without you. Well, you would have sunk in the bog, I do believe. <laughs> Stay safe, friend. Ha! <laughs> no rat would dare mess with me. Bye, Uncle Jeb!